Hey guys, I'm back. This is a very quick illustrator sort of trick, tip, slash whatever you want to call it. What am I doing? Well, I am working on a banner ad for a customer and I want to give this customer a couple of variations. And it would be really nice if I could submit that as a PDF and have all of the different variations appear in that PDF as individual pages. Now, Illustrator now has the concept of artboards, well it has, has, an art, has had an artboard for as long as it's been alive, but it has the concept of multiple artboards. And if you create an Illustrator document that has multiple artboards and you save it as a PDF, you have the option to you know, basically include each and every artboard in your Illustrator file, different different artboard sizes and what have you in that PDF that you're creating, which you can then, you know, send for a share review using accurate.com and you will have a very happy customer because they can mark up your Illustrator documents. I'm rattling on, so let's get to this tip. So imagine you're working on this campaign and what you want to do is you've started out with a very basic concept here which is what I've got. As you can see I can't draw so I've just done a little visual and if I click the artboard tool here you'll see this is an artboard. But what I'd like to do is build on on this particular concept. I'm not quite happy with that first um, sort of design that I've done. The, the client might be, but I want to give, give them a few different variations. So what I'm doing here is holding down the older option key and I'm copying this artboard. So I'm creating a second artboard and I'm holding down the shift key. The copying, by the way, I'm doing by holding down the alt slash option key. And the shift key I'm only holding down to constrain the movements a little bit. Now, not only am I copying the artboard, I'm also copying the art on the artboard. And I think that is the coolest bit. Because that means that I now have two different artboards in my in Illustrator file. I can continue to work on this. I can make the changes that I want to make. I can now do a save as here and save that as uh, just a basic Illustrator PDF file. You can see here all of the artboards are going to be included. Click replace and I'll just leave that as basic Illustrator stuff. And here you go, I now have a PDF file that has, as you can see, two different pages in it. Now I can immediately send that for a shared review if I want to. I've already set up an acrobat.com account and I can literally, it's connecting uh, automatically to my Adobe ID. It's all free and I'll send it to myself. Literally sent that over now. And send that to your client. Your client will receive an email and with just plain Adobe Reader 9, they will be able to mark up any changes or anything that they like and don't like and you'll be able to retrieve all of those comments on the particular PDF that you're using for a review. Now, I'm going to, I was going to pause the, sort of the, the, the recording here for a sec, because this can take a little while, because what it's doing, it's literally uploading this PDF to my acrobat.com account, and it's now sending that email out to my other self, and I can now start to add comments on them. You know, I can do a little sticky note and say, uh, please give some advice on colors. Ta. And once I do that, I'll put that out here, make it a little bit smaller. I can publish those comments to the server. And at the same time, my client can publish comments to the server and eventually you can check for new comments, see those and so on. Um, pretty cool stuff, but the coolest thing is that I think you can very quickly and easily create copies of your Illustrator artboards and use those as the base uh, for continued um, development work that you're doing on your art. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.